What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back. Guys, I got out of bed for this one because the Wolverine from the Deadpool and Wolverine Hot Toys figure has now been announced. And we've got two SKUs, of course, a deluxe and a standard. So is it going to be this or that? Which one are you going to choose? Are you going to get both for some reason? I want to hear from you guys. So stick around. If you like the video, hit the like button, smash the subscribe if you're new to The Ben Thomas Show. And let's get into it. Oh, pardon me. But it's a uh, Ben Thomas Showtime. Let's go. Okay, everybody, so welcome back. So guys, we've got two SKUs for the Wolverine that's been announced. Now, as of right this minute, it's pretty late. So far, they haven't actually given us a price for these two quite yet, but we gotta look at both because I often do these this or that videos and usually it's uh, maybe a new figure compared to an old figure. Maybe they're the same version, maybe it's a 2.0. This is not quite the case. Now we've seen Wolverine in 1.6 scale before, most recently the Days of Future Past Wolverine from Hot Toys, which was a great figure. And while I will say, just to note, if you're a new collector, that first head sculpt for the Days of Future Past Wolverine was amazing. There was a bit of a downgrade in the final product. This is one of the best prototype head sculpts I think I've ever seen for any character. And that's not an understatement. This looks absolutely amazing. Wow, have they captured the Hugh Jackman likeness? It's insane. The hair, I feel like, is pretty damn on point considering it's sculpted. Love the paint applications there for sure. I'm already noticing right off the hop, there clearly is like interchangeable sleeves. And that's been a speculation, right? Like we see in the previews and the, the teasers for the Deadpool and Wolverine film that at different segments throughout the scene, he's got kind of the shoulder caps, then he's sleeveless. So we're all kind of speculating like, what figure are we gonna get? Are we gonna get those kind of pre-done arms? Are the seams gonna be there? Are the sleeves gonna be removable? Like what does that look like? And we're finally getting our answer. But again, to dial in on this head sculpt, like the paint applications look amazing. You do get those separate rolling eye system, uh, which honestly, like at this point, should come on all figures in my opinion. But like, without it, there is something subtly lost in the likeness. I recently got the Doctor Strange figure and I found it harder to get the likeness out of the sculpt, despite how good it is, because you couldn't roll those eyes. With this, this looks freaking amazing. Look at both directions you see the likeness there. Honestly, 10 out of 10 on this prototype. You get the three styles of display with the deluxe version. So you get the one with, of course, the sleeves. You get the sleeveless look that is seamless, which is fantastic. Thank you for not going the gore, the god, butcher route and having those ugly joints in there. And then, of course, you get the look with the mask on. And really, this is kind of the first time I'm feeling like I'm getting a really good look at that mask. We'd seen it teased on on like merchandise kind of coming out for Deadpool and I think even at a teased popcorn bucket if I'm not mistaken. But this is kind of the first time we're getting a chance to really see it and it looks pretty damn good. It does look like it's somewhere between the astonishing Wolverine look and kind of maybe that more classic Jim Lee look. And so I'm down with it. I think the coloration is really cool as well. From these photos, it's hard to tell if it's black or if it's like a dark navy blue. So yeah, it does look black in my opinion now, now that I'm seeing this next photo. The suit looks really cool. I like the battle damage on there. The bullet marks look really, really cool. Those seamless arms are beautiful. Now I'm sure everybody's gonna kind of talk about this. Seamless arms are notorious for breakage. So I'll be curious to see if they've changed the way that they're giving us that seamless look, uh, or if it's what we've seen before and it's gonna be similar to maybe a Fison body. If you leave it in the position too long, it can stick and rip. Hopefully not, in my opinion though, for the realism that the seamless look gives you. For me, I'm okay with that costing some posability. I'm okay with more of a museum look if it means it looks like a shrunk down version of that character and actor in your collection. This is a really cool look. I love the yellow and the blue, honestly. That's one of my favorite looks for Wolverine. I know that a lot of folks really love like the brown and the orange look 
which is totally fair. Uh, and it's funny because in the Wolverine, which film was that? I think it was called The Wolverine back in the day. One of the end credit scenes in that movie was uh, him opening a case and seeing the 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 orange and brown cowl so it's kind of cool that we're getting a chance to see that here now i also really like the look of these adamantium claws i think that is a really cool look it does look like they're interchangeable that you can at least pull them out potentially based on kind of the description here he does look a little smaller than i would expect but that might just be some kind of photography i mean don't get me wrong i say small he's still obviously super jacked but he does have a smaller stature and honestly that's akin to the actual Wolverine character. Wolverine character, I think, was only like 5'3", whereas Hugh Jackman's actually a huge man. Um, but this looks great, scale-wise. There is some bunching in the outfit. The outfit does look like it's almost kind of like that rubbery style material, potentially somewhere in the range of, like, what else am I seeing here that could be similar? Honestly, even maybe my original Deadpool 2 suit, uh, something similar to that. I'm just looking around to see if I have anything otherwise comparable. Maybe some of the Spider-Man suits that have existed, but yeah, it looks really, really cool. I like the shine even on the adamantium claws. That looks cool. The texturing on the gloves looks fantastic. It's that iconic look for him though. That expression behind the eyes that really gets me. The fact that you get both the masked look, the unmasked look, and different styles of the outfit in the deluxe it's going to be really hard to choose this or that for the that version because while we're going to look at the lower cost option, I'm sure, and again, that cost hasn't been shown yet, so I apologize I don't have those numbers. I, If I were going to speculate on cost, I would expect this deluxe version to be somewhere in the 325 range, and I would expect the standard version to be somewhere in the $280 range. If it's much more than that, I'd be disappointed, honestly. Uh, I think the Deluxe at 325 would be potentially the sweet spot, the most I would want to pay, but that remains to be seen. Let's see if the uh, if my prediction, you know, takes hold there. Even the, like the subtle browning in his hair and everything, it's funny because obviously uh, Hugh Jackman's going pretty gray in real life, but I love that they've dyed his hair in the film and they've identified that here in the figure, uh, which is pretty funny. Yeah, it's a great sculpt. Really great sculpt, and I love this cowl look. Now, you also get the three different mouth plates with the cowl look as well, which does come with the standard figure. And honestly, I lose a little bit of the Hugh Jackman likeness in these mouth plates, I'm not going to lie. The first one, the farthest left, I see it, I think, most there. The second one, the middle, is not bad. It's the third one, the kind of angry expression. I do lose... Hugh Jackman's face in that a little bit. Maybe it's maybe it's just because of the eyes. Now, what I love about the cowl is they've done the white eyes. That's like that comic book look. And I mean, it makes sense because Deadpool has that look as well, right? And I mean, they're in the same movie together. So I love that they've brought that forward. In fact, I actually hope that in the James Gunn DC universe at some point, that the Batman, the next version of whoever we get as Batman, has something very similar to this as well. I think that that could be cool, and it would be different than anything we've seen with the other Batmans. This is the first time I've seen the white eyes cowl on a realistic looking Wolverine, and it does not disappoint. That looks really, really good. This is a picture kind of all of the things that you get with the deluxe version. So again, it highlights the separate rolling eyes, the interchangeable sleeved arms, the interchangeable battle damaged arms, the masked head sculpt with the lower faces, uh, the attachable claws, yeah, uh, mind-blowing. Yeah, I mean, mind-blowing. I'm very, very excited. Now, we knew this was coming. This has been teased a bunch over the last week. We also know that there's at least two Deadpool skews that are being highlighted on Sideshow right now. So, this is the first of the deluxe uh, version Wolverine, if you're going to go with that. So, we'll call the deluxe this. We'll call the... Standard version that, let's take a better look here at what that one looks like. And I mean, honestly, once again, does not disappoint. If you don't care about having the Hugh Jackman likeness in the collection, and this is a better price point for you in terms of affordability, no knock against you. This is going to be still an amazing piece in the collection. For me, I love seeing the actor likeness. I love having the swap outs. I feel like the value is truly going to be there in the deluxe, depending on the price differential, don't get me wrong. 
but this looks really friggin' good. If all you really want is that Wolverine look to go with maybe some of your other X-Men style characters, uh, yeah, this is gonna be really, really cool. But again, overall, it's about the same figure with the exception of some of the things that you don't get. So you still can do the attachable claws here on the standard version, but you only get the masked head sculpt there with the lower interchangeable face plates. And that's pretty much it. You don't even really get much of the battle damaged outfit or anything like that. Some of those swappable pieces. This armor on the front doesn't have those bullet holes as well. So definitely some subtle differences. I by far, like I mentioned earlier, see the best likeness, I think, in that mouth plate on the right hand side now in the big picture there. But yeah, I'm really impressed with the way the suit's going to look. This is kind of what I feel like is my first real look at what Wolverine is going to look like in Deadpool and Wolverine. And I'll be curious to see what you guys have to say about it. Are you just as pumped as me? If you're thinking about getting this figure, I mean, honestly, we haven't even seen the movie yet, but I love the fact that by the time I go and see that movie, if I love it, I can put the pre-order in for this guy and know it's on the way to my collection. That's really exciting. For me, my personal choice here is I am going to go with the deluxe version, so I'm going to go with the this. But are you going to go with the that? Is it going to be you, the deluxe, or the standard? This or that? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you can, love to hear from you. I'm going to get my ass back to bed because i got to get up early for work tomorrow. But guys, if you like the video, hit the like button for me. Smash the subscribe if you're new to the Ben Thomas Show. I love that you guys can see how excited I am as my first take looking at this figure here. I hope you have a great evening, a great morning if you're waking up to this video, and thanks for watching everybody. We'll catch you on the next one.